the, the grant has been awarded so that we can continually to be, to be able to give free sessions. This club is actually run mostly with volunteers. In fact, in 2015, we actually won the Queen's Award for our voluntary sector, our voluntary service. So, but we can only go thus far. It is a social club for anyone and there's various reasons, quite diverse, various reasons why people use the club. Some come because they, want, they love boxing, they want a career in boxing. Others come because they're referred and once they come and they see that it's, it's, it's inclusive, they accept it and they see themselves develop. It also uh, helps raise their self-esteem, give them confidence, they don't have to keep proving themselves. the top 10% of socially and economically deprived areas in London. The ethos of the club was always to be to reach those kids on the streets that perhaps didn't have the finances or the parental support even often to be able to access um, this type of club on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm always conscious of keeping it still as, as it was in the beginning, that it would be accessible. And we see young people's lives turned around from having uh, antisocial mindset sometimes, bad influences, drug related. We see their life taking 180 degrees turn around, coming here, and people see the evidence of their life change. The evidence is the way they behave, their life change, and they go back and they encourage other young people to see they have alternative options in life. They don't have to just follow the crowd. Teaching is all aspects of boxing. You know, it's, it's consistency, it's commitment, it's discipline, it's mentoring, it's anger management, everything else around boxing. It's not just the boxing. And it's just being able to give more sessions, so to, in, to increase it, so that we don't actually turn these, you know, these young people away. The young individual person, which won't name the person, that was involved in gang and drugs, street, you know, fights and things like this. He came here, uh, he was being arrested, his brother was in prison and he was arrested, came here and before the COVID. And he started, he, 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 he embraced the boxing, he had the love for the sport and he started developing, he started to compete. And his first show that he competed on our shows, one of the police, because the police come and attend our shows because obviously they support the club and it's, it is a police related club. One of the police officers was watching the bow and saw the young man and he realised that three, four years ago he had arrested that young man. And after the, vet, after the bow, he won the bow, the young man. He came down and we got them together and they spoke and he was, they were taking a picture together. And he was so amazed to see how a few years ago he arrested him, now he's cheering him on to win the bow. It's bringing you back here. It's a tricky question. My heart is just in boxing. I've tried some other sports like football and rugby. My heart's never truly been in it. When I box, I stand around the ring and I'm, I feel like I'm at home. And I step in the ring and then I feel like that's truly where I'm meant to be. You know, I just, I feel comfortable in the ring. I always had this fascinated fascination about fighting that there was something about it that, that interested me, that excited me. So, and the boxing gym was 20 minutes down the road, so I just sh showed up one day and I fell in love immediately. Like, I walked in, I saw two guys sparring, and I saw it and I was like, that's what I want to do. What is it about boxing that you prefer over things like um, I think boxing is more of a harder sport and thinking sport. I have a lot of cousins that do boxing, so we come from a family that we have a lot of boxers. I just found out about this club playing with um, my friend on PS4. This was like about a year ago, but then I wasn't really in the right mindset for boxing like, at first. My friend was trying to get me into boxing for a while. And then um, he was telling me about this club and then New Year came around and I thought, why not, let's give it a try. And then I started, so it's been about six, seven months now. It, it, it's still discipline, hard work, dedication. It, it, it made me understand everything Everything that's worthwhile to be successful is, is a, that like you can't rush it. 
you know, tr you have to trust the uh, process. For you, is boxing something that you really want to do professionally? Yeah, very. I want to make it to the top. I definitely want to go professional and be big. You know, that's the goal. Yeah, definitely. Now that I've started it, yeah, I definitely want to pursue it professionally. I want to go all the way.